to say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? All right. All right, first and foremost, we thank each and every one of you individually and all of you together collectively for the co-creation of this interaction and the allowance of this transmission in this way. Each and every time you allow us to interact with your civilization like this, it affords us an opportunity to learn that many more perspectives within the multidimensional crystal of all that is. So we thank you for the gift of your sharing. We would like to begin this transmission with the following idea. Using the tools. We have, over time, for the past 30 of your years, shared with you many ideas, many tools that you can use based on the nature of, the structure of existence. And these tools, when used in alignment with the nature and structure of existence, will allow you more conscious manifestation, more conscious awareness of the fact that you are creating your reality, more conscious control over exactly how to allow yourself to align with the flow of creation in order to experience your physical lives in the most joyful way possible, in the most harmonious way possible. However, Sometimes in our interactions with many of you, we realize that while you may have in your minds the information of the tools we have shared with you, it is a very different thing to have the information, to know the information from the actual application of the information in your reality. It is important always that the application of these tools, these ideas, these concepts that we and others similar to us share with all of you at this time be actually grounded in your physical reality through action, through actual physical application because in creating a physical experience you yourselves are saying that you want to have an experience of a process that allows you to discover new aspects, new perspectives of yourself and in so doing you will allow yourself to know that your physical experience is the expression of your spirit, expression of your soul's journey, the expression of your spiritual investigation of yourself and so physical action acts like a commitment like a grounding, like a connection that demonstrates that you know you are in alignment with creation, reflects to creation that you are willing to align with it. It is all well and good to keep these ideas in your head, all well and good to understand the information intellectually, but it is a very different thing and you create a very different effect in your life when you actually learn how to appropriately apply these tools in your physical reality. We have talked about many tools such as the understanding of what we call the five laws of existence and the understanding of the tool of acting on your highest excitement, that three-part formula that allows for excitement to begin to open up and function synchronistically in your life as a complete kit. The idea of the five laws is simply that you exist, which means that if you exist now, you always will. You may change form, but you will always exist. Your point of view is unique and will always exist because if you didn't exist, all that is would not be all that it could be. So you are valuable, you are worthy, you are deserving of that existence and to go into states of unworthiness, lack of deservability, in essence is to argue with creation about your value. Please believe us, if you were not absolutely crucial to the idea of all that is being all that is, you would not exist. It doesn't make mistakes, so you cannot be a mistake. 
in any way, shape, or form. Thus, when you allow yourself to stop arguing with creation about your worth, and start aligning with the idea that you are in existence for a reason, then you can experience that existence more in alignment with creation, with the flow of creation, and allow yourself the benefit of that relationship, of that positively oriented relationship with creation. Law number two is simply that everything is here and now. That time and space, in a sense, are your projections, your illusions that allow you to experience the process of discovering yourself from another point of view. The third law is that the one is all, the all are one, which means that separation is an illusion as well. Everything is the same one thing from a different point of view. So you are all, all that is, experiencing itself as an aspect of itself, as another point of view of itself, as another perspective of itself, so that it can experience itself from all the possible perspectives that it can, and know and discover itself in that way. Because you see, the structure itself never really changes. But your experience of it, your point of view of it, does. And that's what expands creation. The fourth law is what you put out is what you get back, which simply means whatever frequency you operate on, whatever definitions you hold to be true, generate a particular energetic vibration that you radiate. And because physical reality is just an illusion, is really nothing more than a mirror, it reflects back to you the ideas that you are giving off, the beliefs that you are holding to be true. And so when you experience your physical reality, if you find that it requires, in your opinion, some adjustment, the first thing to adjust is the definitions within you, because the definitions, what you believe to be true, what you define to be true, are the fundamental foundation of your experience of physical reality, and everything is built upon that. Emotions and feelings stem from something you believe to be true. You cannot have an emotion or a feeling about anything unless you have a definition of that thing first. So when you have emotions, when you have thoughts, when you have behaviors that you believe are out of alignment with who you prefer to be, you can trace those behaviors and trace those thoughts and trace those feelings back to what kind of a definition would have to exist in order to generate those kinds of feelings, those kinds of thoughts, those kinds of behaviors, and the consequential experience that stems therefrom. It all begins with the foundational belief and definition in much the same way that building a house has to begin with a foundation, and everything else is on top of that. The emotions being the builders of the house, the thoughts being the building materials of the house, the behaviors being how you find living in that house, the quality of life in that house. So if you find that the house is a little bit stifling, if you find that it is falling apart, if you find in that sense that it's not being built in the way that you would prefer, Go back to the blueprint, go back to the foundation, make the adjustments there, and everything else will follow suit. The fifth law is that everything changes except the first four laws. <laughs> so things will always change, as we said. You will always be discovering a new idea, a new point of view, a new perspective of yourself. That's how creation expands, and that's the nature of it. The idea of your excitement is simply that what you call joy, what you call excitement, what you call passion, what you call happiness and creativity and love and peace and balance are your physical body's way of translating the frequency that is your true signature vibration, the core essence of your being. So anytime you're willing to use the three-part formula of acting on your excitement, you will be harmoniously aligned with the core nature of your being. And thus you will flow easily and not experience resistance in your life. The three-part formula is as follows. To act at every given moment that you can on the thing that contains the highest amount of excitement. Number two, to the best of your ability, taking it as far as you can until you can take it no further. Number three, with absolutely zero insistence or assumption as to what the outcome ought to look like or how you should get there. Because your physical mind has absolutely no way of knowing how it's actually really going to happen. So as long as you allow your physical mind to believe that it's in charge of knowing how something is supposed to happen, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. Because your physical mind is not designed to know how something is actually going to happen. Your physical mind is only designed to know what's happening right now, to experience it. 
That's what it's for. But the higher mind knows. The non-physical aspect of your being called the higher mind, the soul, the spirit, that knows how something can best happen to align with the theme you chose to explore in this life as a physical being. So let the higher mind do its job, let the physical mind do its job, let them work together in concert by following the formula of excitement that will allow you to experience excitement as the complete kit of tools that you need in your life. And what we mean by that is as follows. When you act on this formula every moment that you can, you are aligning like a compass needle to your true magnetic north and that acts as a key to unlock the tools in the kit of excitement. And those tools essentially are this. You start to experience excitement in your life when you follow the formula as the driving engine of your life, the motivating force in your life. You experience it as the organizing principle of your life. You experience more synchronicity that brings things to you at exactly the right moment, the right place, the right time with whom you exactly need to experience it with. It is the path of least resistance in your life. Because when you clear yourself of definitions that don't align with your true being, then you experience no resistance. You flow, glide effortlessly and smoothly and joyfully through life. It is the thread that connects to all other expressions of excitement in your life because your excitement can be expressed in many different ways. And excitement and acting on it, whatever contains the highest amount of it at any given moment, lets you know that even though on the surface it may not seem to be connected to anything else you did that contained excitement, the excitement tells you that it is connected, not how it looks on the surface. You have a saying on your planet, don't judge a book by its cover. This is how it works. Follow the thread of excitement in something don't gauge that it's connected to other things by how it looks because excitement can come in many forms and it will take the path of least resistance to you to allow you to continue on that path of excitement. And sometimes that path of least resistance has to look very different than the path it took before. But it will find you. It's like electricity. It's like water. It will find you as long as you are open to allowing it to come along the path of least resistance and don't insist that it must come in a certain way. That's your ego talking. That's your physical mind thinking it knows best. It does not. But when it works in concert with the higher mind, then you function as a whole person and can experience life in a more holistic way instead of a segregated experience of details and compartmentalizations that makes it seem to be a very difficult thing to put that picture back together. Let yourself open up to the holistic idea that your higher mind will guide you like someone on a mountaintop who can see down and easily see the path you are walking through life and is telling you, go left, go right, go left, go straight, go left, go right. The physical mind, in ignoring that, will constantly fall into a bunch of holes or off a cliff. But when you pay attention to the higher mind's messages that come through synchronicity or by whatever method they may come, then you find that you are guided unerringly in the direction of the things you really want to experience that will allow you to become who you truly know yourself to be. Allow you to experience more of your greater being and allow you to function more holistically as a whole person. When you only rely on the physical mind's guidance in physical reality, you're only functioning as half a person. And that simply makes you, for lack of a better term, a half-wit. The other component of excitement, when you allow excitement to act as a complete kit, is that it acts as the reflecting mirror that reveals to you, in a variety of ways, the things within your unconscious mind that might actually be out of alignment with your true self so that you can identify them, integrate them, bring them back into alignment and expand your excitement in that way. So it is a very powerful kit that contains everything you need. It is complete. And that means, by definition, it leaves nothing out, nothing at all. So when you understand the kit, when you understand the formula, when you understand the laws, when you understand how to look at creation and see the actual nature of it, the actual structure of it, you'll be able to use it to your advantage, to your benefit, differently than you're using it now. You do use it now. But if you're finding that there are things in your life that you don't prefer, it's simply that you are putting information into the mechanism that is negative 
because of the definitions you're holding on to, and so the mechanism can do nothing but give you a reflection of that negativity. It doesn't care what you choose. It is absolutely unbiased. It is completely and absolutely and totally balanced and fair. If you decide that you're going to have a negative belief system, the mechanism of creation simply says, okay, and reflects that to you. If you decide you're going to have a positive belief system, <clears throat> the mechanism of creation says, okay, and reflects that to you. It doesn't care what you choose. It doesn't have a mind of its own. It was designed to be completely and utterly neutral so that you could give life meaning. Without you giving life meaning, life has no automatic built-in meaning. The circumstances and situations you experience are simply neutral events, neutral props. You have the power. You've been given the free will. You've been given the ability to insert the meaning you believe is most true for you. And regardless of anyone else's intention in that circumstance, regardless of how that situation or circumstance might have initially been generated from a negative energy, you still have at every single moment the opportunity to completely neutralize that situation for yourself and determine that it is only positive for you so that you can get a positive beneficial effect from it. Please understand that everything we're telling you here is just simple physics. That's all this is. It's just vibrations, it's resonance, it's energy physics. That's all it is. It's very basic, it's very simple. Yes, we understand that creation is richly complex, but it's not complicated. At its core, it is very, very simple. So in our discussions back and forth, this day of your time in this transmission, please do your best to keep in mind that these are the tools that will help you sail through life and expand your consciousness and expand your experience in positive and beneficial, constructive and creative, loving and joyful ways and allow yourself to gain whatever clarity it is important for you to gain to apply these tools cleanly, precisely, impeccably in your lives so that you can get the response, get the effect and have the experience that you know in your heart of hearts would be reflective of who you know yourselves to truly be. Does that make sense? Yes. All right.